Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the cottage. Welcome to Auntie Karen Beyond the Cards. Um, today, um, I am going to discuss a kind of an interesting uh, thing that we sometimes do um, that I believe um, actually has some very uh, interesting root causes many times. And that is uh, when we uh, we call ourselves testing people's loyalty, okay? And what we're, you know, what we, what we say is that we, you know, in our minds, well, if this person will, will stay with me uh, or stay aligned with me, whether it's a friendship or some sort of uh, romantic connection or maybe some sort of career ties or, or professional ties, I will, you know, if this person continues to be my supporter, even though I do this, that, and the other that's controversial or, you know, uh, uh, unhealthy behaviors, then that means they're loyal. No, what that means is they're codependent, okay? And, and what you're looking for in this lifetime is a ride or die whenever we're doing that. You're trying to, you're saying that what you're doing, you're saying to yourself that what you're doing is you're trying to determine who is with you and who's not, who is ride or die and who's not. So let's, you know, let's just take, you know, my, my channel and me as a creator, uh, as an example, many of you know me from Enchanted Cottage where I read cards, Enchanted Cottage 333. Um, so, you know, what if I just, uh, started doing things on my channel that, you know, um, was offensive, perhaps, uh, uh, abusive towards people, um, or, or that sort of thing, uh, you know, hate type activity, for example, um, I would have to, uh, understand that when I did that, uh, I would offend quite a few people, whoever I had, you know, verbally abused or, or, you know, made hate comments about, I would have to assume that I would lose those viewers. Does that mean they weren't right or die or loyal to me? Okay, they're, they're not, I hope they're not right or die because they have healthy boundaries, okay? Um, and, and, and so what we're really doing is we're in self-sabotage because we're like, okay, you're either right or die and you'll go with me and be with me and you'll align with me and support me no matter what I do or you're not. And so I'm gonna push you away and see if you'll come back. I'm gonna intentionally do things to self-sabotage or to sabotage our connection, whether it is romantic, whether it is professional, whether it is a friendship. I'm gonna do things that I know are intentionally going to ruffle your feathers because you know, you're know you gonna run away anyway, so let's just get it over with, okay? I already know that you're not right or die. And so, a long t for a long time, you know, I felt that way myself, like we should always be right or die with people. But then I got to thinking about it and I said, no, you know, uh, let's just suppose that I have a friend who all of a sudden starts, you know, going out and getting sloppy drunk and coming home beating their wife. Okay, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm not right or die with that. I can't support that behavior. That's toxic. And if I did, then I need to look at myself and my own boundaries. So anybody with healthy boundaries, for the most part, unless they have some sort of life commitment with, you know, like a marriage or what have you, they're not right or die. And even then, there's a thing called divorce, and many of us know that firsthand, right? Uh, me, several times over, as you guys know. But that's neither here nor there. The reason, you know, a lot of people take exception to people who have been divorced multiple times. And I can understand that because that's how we're raised and that's how we're conditioned to believe. But on the other hand, we had the balls to walk away from an unhealthy, toxic relationship. So there is that to consider. We didn't stay somewhere where we were mistreated or, you know, an unhealthy dynamic, whatever the case may be, okay? But that being said, uh, you know, um, so, it's like it's like I'm already anticipating that you're not going to be for me. So let me just go ahead and sabotage that. And I'm going to call it testing your loyalty. Okay? And when you fail, then it's going to be on you and it's going to be your fault. When in fact, the reason that you walk away is because you have healthy boundaries and you're not going to support somebody no matter what they do. Okay? But yet you'll get blamed for it and people will throw shade at you when in all, in fact, you were doing with saying, okay... 
I respect your right to behave in the way you want. Just understand I can't, I love you, but I can't support that. I'm not ride or die. Okay, and so, you know, many times, you know, you will fail these loyalty tests with these folks. And, and quite honestly, people who test loyalty, and I've been guilty of it, but people who test people's loyalties have self-esteem issues to begin with. They already feel as though people are gonna walk away, so let's just go ahead and get it over with and act like an asshat. And then when they do it, we'll blame them because they weren't loyal. So it's like, it's kind of like, almost like a victim mentality. It really is, whether we realize it or not, okay? So this is, you know, this is kind of a, an interesting topic and it's something that came to my mind through some personal experience here in the last couple of days, you know, with the shifting energies that we've had with the new moon, you know, the recent full moon, the new moon, and uh, the solar eclipse, everything in Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius is all about speaking truth bombs. Many of you who have, you know, significant Sagittarian placements, you know that, okay? And of course, you know, me being a Gemini and, you know, calling myself Queen of Swords, okay? I, that's right up my alley. But at the same time, you know, drudging up these truths about ourselves and looking at ourselves and seeing these things about ourselves. No, we're not testing people's loyalties. We're pushing them away before they walk away on their own. That's what that's really about. And rooted in that is a, a fear of rejection. And so let's just go ahead and get it over with, okay? Because I already know you're not right or die. Well, that much is true. I am not gonna ever be a right or die for anyone ever again. Have I done it? Yes, okay? Uh, and I have the divorce papers to prove that, okay? Um, with that being said, there's been a lot of forgiveness in many, some of those dynamics, some not. I mean, I, I have, but I can't speak for the other parties because I'm not in contact with, with, with one specifically, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but I can't be right or die with somebody uh, it, it, regardless of what they do. You know, let's just say that uh, you have a buddy that goes out and robs a bank. Are you right or die? Are you gonna go to jail for that person? Are you gonna let your career go down for that person? Are you gonna jeopardize your own reputation for that person? If, <clears throat> you know, let's just use the accounting field as an example. Um, I, as many of you know, I have a lot of experience in the accounting field. Let's suppose that uh, I have a close colleague who I uh, am close with and publicly close with, okay, known to be collaborative with, okay, if you will, uh, in the accounting field, and that person commits embezzlement. Now, I can still love that person, but I'm gonna, am I going to jeopardize my entire career and my rep professional reputation by putting it on the line to support what this person did? Doesn't mean I don't love them. It just means that energetically, you know, you hand to be the scissors and now I got to cut, you know, and, and I cut in love, you know. Um, I don't always my handle myself in the best of ways when these things happen, but um, many times, you know, and, and it's about growing and learning and getting better with every single experience. Every experience in, these, in this life is an opportunity to do better and they will keep coming back so that you can perfect how you handle yourself in these situations. And so, with that being said, I hope this has kind of spoken some truths that will be helpful to you guys. And the difference, there, there is really no test of loyalties. It's really self-sabotage or sabotaging a dynamic because in your mind, you're so focused and so convinced that, you know, in your subconscious, which you're not even aware of, okay? You're already convinced that people are not going to be loyal to you. So you just go ahead and get it over with and rip the Band-Aid off. That's kind of what's really going on, if I have to call it, and I do. <laughs> so at any rate, guys, have a beautiful day. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider doing so. And with that being said, I got some personal readings to take care of and then some readings to put up on my channel today. Love and light to everyone. Check out my website. I think I've got it linked below in this description box. And also check out my other channel, Enchanted Cottage 333. Many blessings, guys.